Today is July 2nd. In this episode, we are going to talk about Eheng CEO interview by CYZone and try to digest some of the important information. Recently, Eheng CEO was interviewed by CYZone, a well known Chinese media for covering entrepreneurship and startups. A few days ago, we have translated the interview, English subtitled the video, and posted the video on this channel. It is highly recommended if you have not watched it yet. Eheng CEO has been interviewed by media several times before. But this interview is considered the best in terms of overall understanding Eheng's system design and development philosophy. The interview also contains a lot of important information, including the time for airworthiness certification. Before we go on to pick up the important details in the interview, let's first briefly review the background of Eheng CEO Hu Huaji. It is the perfect combination of his unique education and experiences that has created the Eheng's UAM system ahead of our time. Education Mr. Hu entered Tsinghua University in 1992. He studies computer science and electronics. Tsinghua University is ranked number one in China. Also called the MIT of China. Aircraft experience, 15 years. As a master model aircraft enthusiast. He has 15 years of professional model aircraft research experience. And established the country's first aerospace model museum in Beijing. Emergency dispatch system, 15 years. He was responsible for the establishment of large-scale projects such as the emergency dispatch system for the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the Beijing 999 Emergency Center Command Dispatch Platform, and Guangdong Emergency Command and Dispatch Platform. In 2013, he formally devoted himself to the research and development of smart drones. In April 2014, he established Ehang. The most impressive from the interview is the safety. He said, what you do is not an airplane. What you do is safety. He lost two close friends in flying accidents. From the beginning, he determined to, to build aircraft that will never crash. He achieved this by bringing redundancy and computer system fault tolerance concepts into the aircraft. Fault tolerance refers to the ability of a system, computer, network, databases, etc to continue operating without interruption when one or more of its components fail. Now let's talk about the airworthiness certificate time that many people are interested in. The interview already contains the information we need. In the interview, the journalist asked, If you are in this progress bar now, where is it? Mr. Who answered, I think it will be fully achieved this year. This translation for the answer is by meaning. The actual literal translation is. I think it will be full blood this year. For the two Chinese characters here. The first character, man, is full. The second, shui, is blood. So, the two combined is full blood. Full blood is a popular internet slang term. Its exact meaning depends on the context. The term is originally from an internet game where there is a blood volume indicator on the head of the character. If the character is being beaten by the opponent, the blood volume is reduced. When the volume is zero, the character will die. On the other hand, if the character is beating the opponent, the volume increases. Full blood means the volume is 100% full. Back to Mr. Who's answer. The context is about the progress bar. Half blood means the progress bar is half full. Full blood means the progress bar is 100% full. It is obvious that the task of the certification is included in the progress. I think it will be full blood this year indicates that. Mr. Who thinks the certification will be obtained this year. Actually, the time is also considered to be consistent with. The goal of the CAAC and the central government. We can get the hint from the CAAC's news article on June 8 about China Southern Bureau launches the approval of the Ehang Man drone project. This is the original article. In the article, the leader of the bureau emphasized the following three points. 
1. Have a deep understanding of the significance of the project. 2. Improve the efficiency of verification. 3. Improve the foresight of the work and simultaneously carry out the work of airworthiness standard formulation and conformity verification plan determination. The first point, have a deep understanding of the significance of the project essentially means. The project is very important to the nation. The second point, improve the efficiency means speed up the process. It is obvious that if you increase the efficiency, you can speed things up. The third point, improve the foresight and simultaneously carry out. Basically conveys the same message of speeding up. This year is very special for the CCP, the Bureau, and the nation. This year is CCP 100-year anniversary. It is understandable that CAAC also wants to complete this important project this year. So that they can make a timely contribution to the historical grand milestone. Based on the above observations. It makes sense to conclude that. It is very likely that Ehang will obtain the airworthiness certificate this year. What do you think? Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.